Hi everybody, welcome to another day of quarantine and Wellness Wednesdays. If you're anything like me, this quarantine has not only got you a little stir crazy, but it's also getting your sweet tooth really ramping up. Well, I'm gonna show you a way to kind of crush that sweet tooth while getting some more protein into your diet with some clean cookie dough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with peanut butter and I recommend the natural peanut butter. The Wegmans brand is just peanuts. If you take a look, it's literally the ingredients that are only peanuts. If you take a traditional peanut butter, the non-natural, you've got peanuts, you've got sugar, fully hydrogenated vegetable oil, salt, molasses. You don't want to put that garbage in your body, especially now when we're conf confined to the house. So two tablespoons, natural peanut butter. Put that right in a the bowl there. <clears throat> I'd say bam, but I'm pretty sure that's uh, trademarked by somebody. Put that. Then you get your protein. Today I'm going to be using chocolate protein, but you can also use, let's say, vanilla and make kind of like an oatmeal cookie. I'm going to make a chocolate chocolate chip. So I'm going to take my natural protein here. I'm going to scoop that about a scoop. I'm going to add that to the peanut butter. Then we're going to take our dark chocolate organic chocolate chips. When you buy chocolate chips or any kind of chocolate for that matter, I definitely recommend flipping over, looking at the ingredients. Just make sure the first ingredient is actually chocolate. Some of the lighter chocolate, like milk chocolate, most chocolate is garbage and the, the first ingredient is sugar or some other kind of something that's bad for you. Obviously all chocolate, unless it's 100% dark, is going to have some sugar. But as long as it's a decent chocolate, the first ingredient will be cocoa. So I'm going to take a few pieces of chocolate chips. We're going to put that in there as well. And then we're going to add a splash of milk. I go with the grass-fed organic. Grass-fed is very important. Not only does it taste better, but it's much healthier for you as well. Just a little splash of milk in there. And then I'm just going to simply stir it up with a spoon. Now it'll take about 30 seconds or so of stirring, but as you can see, it's getting a nice little thick consistency. And the more you stir, the thicker it'll get. And after, like I said, about 30 seconds, you'll get a consistency kind of like that. And there you go, you have that. It'll be absolutely delicious. Crush the sweet tooth, get some good protein into your diet. And that is my recipe for clean cookie dough. Now, if anybody from legal has infiltrated our group, I just wanna mention, this is not actually cookie dough. It never has been cookie dough. I'm pretty sure if you bake it, it probably won't make a cookie, but I don't know, I haven't tried. Um, the use of the word cookie dough is only to provide an approximate descriptor of what it might taste like and the approximate consistency. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week on Wellness Wednesday.